Hey, this is DJ Sky High Baby, and this is Grape Tea News. Let's get into it. Let's get into this circus tea. With all of this commotion going on between Krishan and Ronnie, uh, uh, Jay and Krishan and Charity and Smiley, now Marsh is in. Y'all, it's Carlissa. It's a lot going on, right? It is a lot going on, okay? Blueface is chilling. You know, he talking to his other girl right here. I forgot her name. Um, you know, he got he got a bunch of girls right now. He's been transferred to another prison too. And this girl just keep dropping screenshots. All right? He chilling, living his best life. Look at uh look up Marlon, stay cheese. That's hilarious. Y'all know from um the Wayans brothers yeah yeah so they they he he, he chilling right now I, I don't think he worried okay they, they said blue face looking stress-free that's the vibe i'm getting you know it don't look like he's letting the uh time do him you know he's doing the time it is what it is you know um but it's funny that all of this stuff is going on right now and like he just you know i just find it crazy that all of this is going on while he's out of jail this could have been going on or, I, uh, you know, uh, what well, I'm mad that all of this is going on while he's in prison. OK, this could have happened when he wasn't in prison. Ronnie won a DNA test doing uh, uh, interviews and all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then with Krishan, you know, remember, Krishan is still facing some prison time. So it's crazy that all of this stuff is going on. Uh, she got the lawsuit. Remember? Um, Jay Chanel Wright actually upped the lawsuit and he wants $145,000. She got a lot going on. She got the Rama case. Um, she beat that lady up at the, um, at the B, at the BT orders, remember? Then her hairdresser at the Zeus red carpet, she punched her. She got a lot of lawsuits. So she got a lot going on. Um, and Blueface is just, you know, talking to all his other little boo things. Okay. We haven't heard anything about him being in contact with Krishan at all, which is funny because he said that he was talking to her on that interview with uh, Gina. Uh, I forgot her name, y'all. But it's Gina from she was she used to be on uh, No Jumper. But yeah, uh, Blueface man, he got a smile on his face. He he chilling, but he do got a type. I will say that man, it seems like he got a type when it comes to these chicks, right? But anyway, speaking of Krishan. Marsh was recently on an interview and the interview date is from 10 17. So this is new. This was literally a week ago. Okay. And she talks about her, uh, meeting Krishan the first time she ever met Krishan. And it's a weird story, but it's so much of an unstable creature story that I believe it. Okay. Check it out. Shout out to Captain Flex for the post. Fair use. When I first met Krishan, uh, I was walking in a 7-Eleven because I was trying to get into the check cashing place, but the door was kind of confused. And she was walking out. She bumped into me. I had 30 racks in my pocket right here because I was... 30 racks? Marsh, what was you doing? 30 racks in your pocket in cash? Uh... 2015. Yes. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way according uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit 30 racks. I was on some other shit, and my money fell on the ground. She helped me pick it up, and she like, where's you getting all this money from? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> da -da -da -da. My big sister was in the car waiting for me. So when I come back to the car with this girl, she like, who the f is that? Like, who? Come on, man. Y'all believe this? Yeah, 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 y'all believe this? I know you don't. I know you don't believe that. I know you don't believe that. That's why I'm not jumping. That's why Scotty. Just... What's this? Like, what are you doing, Marshane? Like, what's going on? Um, and I'm like, no, nah, it's cool or whatever. Then we had a conversation about God, and then after that day, she. Oh my God, y'all met at a check cashing place. Okay, not even a bank, a check cashing place. Where you had 30 bands on your on, on your person, on you. You dropped the money 
And of all people, the anointed one, Krishan, bumps into you and, and help you pick it up. And say, hey, I, where you get all this money from? No, yeah, girl, that's what I do. So I walked her back to my car with my sister. And then we just start talking about God. Y'all y'all just... Come on, man. <laughs> what? What? Nigga, what? <sighs> this this is crazy. She hopped in the car with us. Um, then she, she hopped in the car with them. They didn't even know each other. Y'all, she just hopped in the car with you. You on both sides, y'all stupid. Christian didn't know you and just hopped in the car with you. You didn't know her. You just brought her along with you. Okay. I had to move her car, so we went back, drove back to her apartment, which was around the corner. Uh, we honestly went upstairs and pissed in the tub, which sounds crazy. Pissed in the tub? Whoa, whoa, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's crazy. These bitches. Ew. Disgusting. Ew. Ew. Oh my what? You right? Nasty. Yeah, what happened to like the, the toilet was us. broke. The toilet was broke, so we needed to pee. So just, but then all those exchanges, like I'm from I'm from the Bay Area, so it's like I know that I'm not trying to use that. Like people are probably gonna be like, uh, but fuck y'all. Y'all don't understand. No, that don't no 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 no. We don't claim that. We don't claim you. No, I'm from the Bay. What are you talking about? I don't know what the hell you talking about. Don't put that on no Bay Area. I'm from the Bay. What that mean? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I don't know what y'all talking about. What do being from the Bay have anything to do with that? You are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. Chill. Chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? <laughs> like, what is she talking about? Fuck it out. We talking about a little baby. In his restaurant. Fuck little baby in his restaurant. Nigga, I'm talking about a kid. You talking about me eating at somebody fucking restaurant. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, like, huh? You just met her. You got 30 racks on you at a check cashing place. You dropped the cash. Of all people, Krishan came out of nowhere and helped you pick it up. Where you get this money from? Oh, I be doing this. I be doing that. So you walk her to your car to introduce her to your sister. And she hop in the car. No, yeah, my bad. Before y'all did that, y'all started talking about God. So you're like, oh, yeah, God. And then y'all rode back to Krishan place where her toilet didn't even work. So y'all pissed in the tub. Ah. <sighs> Like, stop it get some help yeah man this is crazy um when i first met krishan uh i was walking in a 7-eleven because i was trying to get into the check cashing place but the door was kind of confused and she was walking out she bumped into me i had 30 racks in my pocket right here because i was on some other shit and my money fell on the ground she helped me pick it up and she's like where's you getting all this money from like what are you doing <laughs> da -da 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 -da. my big sister was in the car waiting for me and when I come back to the car with this girl, she's like, who the f is that? Like, who is this? Like, what are you doing, Marchene? Like, what's going on? Um, and I'm like, no, nah, it's cool or whatever. Then we had a conversation about God. And then after that day, she hopped in the car with us. Um, then she had to move her car. So we went back, drove back to her apartment, which was around the corner. Um, we honestly went upstairs and pissed in the tub, which sounds crazy, right? Nasty. Yeah, it all happens. To like the, the toilet was us. broke. The toilet was broke, so we needed to pee. So just, but then all of those exchanges, like I'm from, I'm from the Bay Area, so it's like I know that I'm not trying to use that. Like people are probably gonna be like, "Uh, but fuck y'all, y'all don't understand." Like, stop. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. That, that, that don't. I don't understand. I don't understand what she. She must be talking about Tampa Bay. She's from the Tampa Bay area. Maybe that's what she's talking about. Then they got a Bay Area in Memphis, too. Maybe that's what she's talking about. She ain't talking about California. She ain't talking about Northern Cal. She ain't talking about Oakland, San Jose, uh, Berkeley, 
uh, San Francisco, Antioch, Vallejo. She ain't talking about nothing like. I don't think that's what she's talking about. I don't, I, she obviously she's talking about the Tampa Bay area, Florida. That sounds like some Florida stuff, anyways. Y'all know, y'all know the. Uh, you know, it's always memes about Florida, Florida man, and stuff like that. It's always crazy stuff happening in Florida. That that yeah, that's that's Tampa Bay. I don't know what she's talking about. Okay. Anyways, um, she actually addresses okay things about her and Krishan's relationship. All right. And she brings up Jay as well. But remember, this was a few days before Jay, you know, exposed Krishan. So she didn't, she obviously didn't know. Okay. I guess she didn't know uh, Jay was feeling this type of way. But maybe she, I don't know. Y'all, don't be surprised if Marsh comes out and exposes Krishan soon too. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what she got to say. Fair use. For question, because okay. I see all these other blog sites, uh, uh -huh. Lola T and all these other cats. Yeah. And everybody paused because the last place they paused was they wanted to know where your friendship was because nobody knows you have not said nothing. And a lot of these bloggers are talking about that you guys are upset with each other. But the main question is everybody wants to know is how are you doing yourself personally and your relationships with your friends? Okay. I'll say it like that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I noticed that too. Uh, Sometimes, like, me sitting in a space that I be at, I be wondering where this stuff be coming from mm -hmm. a lot of the time. Uh, so, People make up for me, to be honest, it'd be like, um, like what you say, right? It's like, I didn't say anything. She didn't say anything. Jay hasn't said anything. But we social media is making up anything. everything. Marchene, me personally. Rashawn hasn't said anything. Janet hasn't said anything. So it's kind of like, I feel like people need to learn to mind their business. Like, that's Ooh, the thing. Hello. Um, True. And people need to know how to stay in their place. Yeah. And that's another thing. Um, stay in your lane, bitch. <laughs> you ever heard of that saying? Like, if you're there, you there, you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. At all. So, so you know, you I got a lot of haters. I don't know what's up with people. It'd be like, people be acting like they love me. Let's get into it. Oh, you know, I got a simple question. A simple question. Because okay. I see all these. Uh mm. So she's saying all this stuff isn't true. She's saying that, you know, all, all of this stuff is made up, okay, about everything that's going on in the blogs, everything, even though stuff end up being, y'all, we've been talking about Ronnie being a dad for all this time, now all of a sudden he crashing out on a DNA test, he doing all, like, I, I don't know, man, <laughs> this is so funny, bro. And then everything that we've been talking about or even speculating, alleged and stuff like that. Now she got her former friends confirming stuff, drinking and smoking while pregnant. All of this stuff, right? But none of this is true, obviously. All of this stuff is, is just coming out of thin air, okay? Very interesting. It's going to make up a lot of things, whether you said something or not. Yeah. They're going to speak for you. Yeah. And it's crazy because now in the world is social media can actually speak for you without you even saying anything. And whatever they say, it's like people are going to go with it without even hearing the words come out of your mouth or knowing any actions. That part. And it's just crazy because I see all these media groups talking about that. You guys hate each other. You guys are mad at each other. Conversations we're having, all of y'all are cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm part. saying? You know what I'm saying? So, so it's, it's just like... Um, this is what I feel like with people is it's like they don't understand that different circumstances causes different outcomes. You kind of get what I mean? So it's like literally right now, as far as it stands, as far as like our friendship, I genuinely don't think there's anything wrong with our friendship. I just feel like people don't know what it looks like to actually be friends with people. You kind of um, get what I mean? True. Um, oh, and they right. have like this idea of people. So when you have an idea of somebody, and you don't get that idea. You always going to think something is wrong. Like um, people paint like a picture in their head of what they of the expectations they have for people or what they want people to do or want people to be. And when you don't fit into that category or that image that they have for you, it's like they come up with these circumstances and these scenarios without actually getting an answers from people themselves. You kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah. So totally. so, Asking them directly. Yeah. And so it's just like, um, I don't even know where that came from. Uh, me for me, is going to make up a lot of things. So uh, she's saying basically they still cool. All right. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand everything that's going on because 
remember this was a few days before Jay, you know, exposed Krishan and saying this and saying that, and then Smiley got into it. Now Carlissa and Ronnie, y'all, it's a lot going on right now. So Marsh basically saying that they still on good terms. But here's the thing, though. Remember, Marsh was was a rock tar, was Team Rock. It seemed like ever since she got out, I don't even see her posting it, but y'all. Papa Blue was writing for Krishan more than her, right? Papa Blue was posting, um, you know, free free Krishan. Even though it's kind of weird that Papa Blue don't really even post like that no more. That that is kind of interesting too. Uh, Papa Blue hasn't been posting a lot of uh Krishan, free Krishan or Junior type stuff. Remember he uh, he threw the birthday party, free Krishan, and and all this stuff. And I ain't really even been hearing from him, so that's kind of interesting too. He been real quiet. He been real quiet. I just looked him up right here. Um, he talking about getting the house ready for Halloween, passing out candy and uh, money to trick or treaters. Man, this dude is a. Oh my. Speaking of Papa Blue, Papa Blue ain't, bro. But you see what I'm saying? Like ah, I, I don't know. So y'all don't find that kind of weird that you know. Marsh, you know, she got the baby originally and stuff like that. But ever since Krishan got out, she ain't, I don't even remember her saying free Krishan. Krishan's free. I love her. They ain't did no FaceTimes. They ain't, you know, you know, I think Marsh is just kind of be like trying to be like the bigger person and stuff like that. But I, I definitely think there's a wedge between them because it was, that was, that was the three amigos, Marsh, Jay and Krishan. And now Jay is exposing her and saying all of this stuff, right? You don't think Marsh experienced the same thing? I don't know. Wasn't they all living in that same house together before Krishan moved into Blueface's house? I don't know, man. I'm trying to make it make sense. None of this is making sense to me right now. I don't. Let's just say this. I don't believe Marsh. I don't believe her. I don't believe her. I think there's something going on, but she's just, you know, being the bigger person. And just, you know, saying everything's cool right now. She's saying everything's cool right now. But, um, yeah, man. And, uh, Corey Lombardi is, uh, <laughs> Corey's so damn, um, petty. Why he posted this picture saying this is what Marsh looked like? Come on, man. He ain't right, y'all. So, y'all see this? This is a meme of Shaq but I guess they like did an animation on his face with the nose and the eyes look at this come on man he ain't right man <laughs> bitch <laughs> stop <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Because she do look like this picture, though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. She's an unstable creature. She met Krisha on the first day, and they go to each other's house and pee in tubs and uh, obviously just hanging out with her while she was drinking and smoking and stuff like that when she was pregnant. Like, uh, crazy. The house full of women, cuz. House full of sensitive ass females dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word. Uh uh uh. Yeah, he ain't right for that though, y'all. He ain't right for that. And like I said, speaking of babies, okay. Uh, and speaking of babies and Krishan, who in they ever loving mind? That's how you know the Krishan fans it's a cult they worship her y'all literally saw what she went through with this baby in the womb okay in the womb all right alone all right let's just bring that up in the womb all right um and then there's all of these allegations about you know the neglect of junior right Okay, allegedly, right? Why the hell would you let this girl even be around your baby? Y'all, we don't trust Krishan. 
with her own baby. Right? Bruh, this crazy. I mean, <laughs> how soon we forget? Think I want to see a boy. Get yourself together. Wait, a bottle? What? Oh my gosh! Drink it. She asked for another bottle. I'm just. Sit down, liquor. Yes, I can. I can abort the child tomorrow. It won't hurt me. No, you don't have liquor. You know what? I want to have a kid. And and I know it's his kids. I don't care. I'm still killing it. That's the fun part. Can we go? What? Listen to yourself. What? I don't know what to do. I don't want to do it no more. I give the fuck up. You don't have to deal with him. You can still raise your baby. You gotta leave the emotions out of it. Sometimes you gotta. Rid of his kids plenty of times before that. You feel me? So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you feel? Why you just say it like that? because I was ready to get rid of this one, like right, willingly. Like I fuck it. He don't want it no more. Fuck it. I should go too with you to get this abortion on. No rush. I don't know what to do. First, I was getting pregnant, and then I abort and shit. Like, ooh, you did not, three times with him. So I was just like, all right, we're not ready. All right, you don't want it. All right, cool. Mom, I don't want to have a baby no more. I'm getting an abortion tomorrow. Why? I don't believe in that. Kill her for the future. Mom. It's not for today. I get it. Well, I'm just saying. Well, give it to me. Hell no. I don't believe that in that, Sean. I had twelve. Mom, he don't want to have a kid. I damn near don't want to have a kid. I'm ready to kill this baby. I'm, I'm ready to kill this baby. I made up my motherfucking mind, right? Oh, things gonna rush to my head. Like, damn, y'all. I almost killed you. With abortion. So, why would you have Krishan with your kid? Okay, so let's read these comments. Okay. Uh, somebody says, Junior is just fine. Look at that strong grip on mommy. You know, that's not, bruh. These people cannot be that damn crazy that they believe that that's Junior. This gotta be a troll. Somebody said, that's not Junior. That's not her son. That's not her son. Her son is bigger than that. That's crazy. I think they was trolling. Somebody said that's Offset, baby. That don't look like her baby. Um, he's starting to look like his daddy, Blue. Bruh, <laughs> bruh, is this a troll? Bruh, is this a troll page? What the hell? That's not Junior. That's how I know you rock tars are so slow and say anything because that's not even Junior. This baby looks nothing like Blue. <laughs> no way, bruh. Hold on, bruh. <laughs> but let me remind y'all bro when school was over when high school was done they just freed all the special ed kids out into the world didn't tell us who was who or nothing like that you know what i'm saying our whole lives in school we were separated we knew who were who we knew all right if they get the tripping don't even play them no mind they special ed you know what i'm saying after high school they let them out into society and we don't know bro so when somebody trying you just remember they probably them that's probably them right there, bro. And, bro, you know what's crazy? Because I do get a lot of DMs. And a lot of people will be trying to, you know, attack me in the comments and stuff like that about uh, Krishan. And you can, you can honestly tell that they don't even really even know any of the stuff that we know and the stuff that we cover. They just, it's weird. They worship her, but they don't even really know anything about her. Because you know what? We'll post all of these receipts with Krishan, right? Bruh, they'll be in the comment section saying that we lying. Bruh, we'll literally have Chris Sean tell us stuff, right? Or we got paperwork or this and that. And they'll just be like, these are lies. Bruh, we literally played a video of Chris Sean talking about unaliving a man. And they said, you be lying. You lying. 
I said, wait, 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 what? She tells us this herself, her own stories. And then we got the guy that went to jail for her, said he took the charge, say the same story. But I'm lying? Just say that you don't like me. You know, just say that you don't like great T news. Like that, that that's slow. Like, like, what, what the hell? Just say that you don't like what I'm saying. What the hell? Which is crazy because I'm literally repeating what Krishan and Ronnie has said themselves. And like I said, y'all windmill for somebody that don't even like y'all. That it really goes to show how slow y'all is. Because right, everybody came to watch me and I didn't even get to play. Yeah, I fucking right, hate these weird ass fans I got. I hate y'all. Y'all you know what? They tell me that I have to register. Oh, thank fans, y'all really be finding me and shit. I ain't y'all cool, but y'all ain't that cool. Don't don't keep up with me like that. I ain't that famous, okay? I'm famous, but don't treat me like that. It's scary. Long fans, I don't give a fuck what nobody say at this point. Real shit. Like, even my fan pages tag me and what they want to see from me and all this other shit. I want to see this from you. I want to see that from you. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you want to see, bro. Y'all some irrelevant people. I mean, thank you for following me. Thank you for supporting me. But stop being weird. Like, I'm obligated to listen to y'all motherfuckers. Because I don't know none of y'all, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. If I was to keep it at being, y'all keeping up with me. I'm not keeping up with nobody that's in my DM saying, Oh, I think you should try this. I think you should try. I'm not trying. Shit. <laughs> I'm going to keep running this back. <laughs> what are you geeking for? Bruh, they in the comments really thinking that this is they baby. So somebody had, look, somebody said, My bad. Don't call me slow because you don't know me for real. Bruh, somebody looking at the baby and said, man, she doing so good. He looked just like Blueface. So they called him out on it. Then they said, my bad. Come on, bro. These people are so <laughs> happy you're back home. Um, she's, she's so good with kids. Bruh. The 12, 2015. Yes. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way according uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. She's so good with kids. Look, these is these is all rock tars. This is a rock, bro. This is a rock tar fan page, right? This is a fan page. So these are all rock tars. They, it, bro. They don't even, bro. We know more about Krishan than they do. He's so good with kids. He's so cute and has gotten so big. That's not Junior. Look, who baby is that? Bruh. Bruh. These people is crazy, dude. Yeah, come on, man. So we got some people that understand, but for the most part, it's just, just a lot of rock tars. But yeah, this, she's so good with kids is crazy. That's crazy. Yep, this her at church. Man, hey man, this <laughs> y'all, I'm I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, you said those are the same fans that sent it. Yep, that sending the gifts and donating. Yep, that uh charity then uh collecting their money. Come on, man. That is just they don't care though. But look though, hey, I love stuff like this. So y'all know this is great T news. We it even when we don't even mean to put stuff together, um, it, it just it just happens. Okay, I guess it's a, a divine intervention, right? So what this lady say, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to find it. Look, she's so good with kids, right? Y'all read that? She go good. Y'all see that, right? She's so good with kids. Check this out. This is a uh, Krishan during her live, during the Bible study in her bra and panties. Okay. Wiping snot on her son head. That's good with kids. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, man. I, this is like I'm telling these people is crazy. Come on, man. Junior deserves so much better. We've always been team junior. Uh, we always talk about the, the 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 health, the wellness, the welfare, the the proper care, the safety of the baby, right? Bruh, and then look how she wiped it. Like she literally wiped the boogers on his head, bruh. Like, this is crazy. See, he's all good with kids. Bruh. Y'all see that? Y'all. <laughs> bruh, ain't this the same chick that uh when Julia was literally first born? She had him in that uh, like, remember she had him on the what's the name with her dog? Hold on. Uh Christian. Um baby remember when she had him in the strap at walmart like people forgot about that hold on see see so good with kids y'all forgot about this just, just, just baby just just hangling just just dangling can easily fall Like, he's so good with kids. Okay, rock stars, bro. I'm telling, it's just it's it's a mental illness at this point. It's a mental illness at this point. Okay, because that's that's crazy. Ew. Bitches. Ew. Disgust. That's crazy. Oh, man. Anyways. So, hey, I would love Marsh to respond to this. Okay. Shout out to Corey Lombardi for the tea. Um, but Marsh said every everything is a lie. Nothing's going on, right? So, Jay just airing everything out for no reason. AJ just airing everything out for a reason. Uh, for no reason. Tay Tay. Is that uh, airing everything out for a reason? Ronnie is just airing everything out for no reason. And then of all people who was supposed to be the biggest rock tar, the biggest Chris animal, right? Her own big sister, Tangerine. It's unfollowed Chris Sean. Interesting. Interesting. Why y'all think Tangerine unfollowed her? I'm pretty sure it probably got something to do with money. Okay, so Corey says, damn, Krishan knows how to burn a bridge. Her sister, Tangerine, who has helped uh, Krishan take care of Junior while Shawty was incarcerated. She was uh, she's now unfollowed Krishan from Instagram and is now only following Junior. And then the other sister, Tessa, is still following Krishan's ex best friend, Janet, Jay, even after Janet had went live and exposed some ish. Krishan burns a bridge wherever she goes. She must have never heard. Never burn a bridge because you might have to cross back over it. Wow. So Tangerine has unfollowed Krishan. Krishan, right? And Tessa is still following Janet after Janet been exposing her the last three, four days? Wow. Hmm. I, hey, this this is this is interesting. The 12th, 2015. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way, Corey, uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. Yeah, yeah. They said everybody's lying. They say everybody lying about, bro. <laughs> they say James Chanel Wright lying about you know being attacked, and she literally went to jail for it. He has a restraint. He has a restraining order on it, on her. She got to pay him restitution, okay? And she's on probate, like. But she, these people was crazy, bro. This is this is crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely them. It's definitely them. But ain't that crazy though? Her sister unfolded her. I wonder what that's about. I wonder what that's about. Okay. And then of all people, y'all know Ronnie been talking lately. So everybody lying. This is the guy. This is the guy that knows her more than Blueface. 
Ronnie knows the family. Blueface don't know that family like that. Ronnie and Krishan grew up together. Okay, they were high school sweethearts. Okay, so when he comes out talking, okay, and spilling the tea and saying that he went to jail for her and all of this stuff, right? They say he 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 chasing clout. He's saying that he potentially the baby daddy. They saying he lying. He he potentially chased. He just chasing clout. I'm like, what? so, bruh, it, look, somebody was in my chat and said, why would Krishan lie? They say like she don't lie. Everybody's chasing clout. Everybody lying on her. She ain't did nothing. She's an angel. She's anointed. I said, what type of witchcraft is this? All right. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was crazy way before blue. Way before blue. Right. But yeah, so her sisters is her. One sister is still following the girl that's been exposing Krishan and Tangerine unfollowed her. Okay. Right. Come on, man.